Good day, my name is Tony Farrer. I'm the Pressure and Temperature Product Manager at Yokogawa Australia and New Zealand. Today I'm going to demonstrate the local parameter setting feature and functionality on the EJX and EJE transmitters. I'm sure you've been confronted with a situation where you've either got to interrogate a transmitter or effect a minor change on a transmitter in the plant when you don't have your handheld communicator or your field mate readily available. This is where the LPS feature comes in very handy as it allows access to nine most important parameters that are adjustable from the front of the transmitter. Let's have a look at how easy it is to effect a interrogation or change on a transmitter using the local parameter setting functionality. First we need to remove the cover from the transmitter which would require a permit in controlled areas. Um, general area is not necessary. This will give you access to the display and the range setting switch. The next thing we need to access is the zero adjustment screw on the outside of the transmitter. You need to loosen the cover, rotate the cover to give you access of the range setting switch on the side and the outside of the transmitter. To activate a local parameter setting, we push the range setting switch on the display. We see that it's tag 1001. By actioning the range setting switch, we move to the next parameter, unit. It's displaying KPA, lower range value being zero KPA on the transmitter for the four milliamp output. 100 kPa for the range of the transmitter for the 20 milliamp output. Two seconds damping for the output of the transmitter affected from the time of change to output on the transmitter. Transfer of the signal from the transmitter in either linear or square root. In this particular case, it's linear. Display one, in this particular case, is pressure. The next parameter will give you the access to the adjustment on the transmitter which would require the input of pressure to the transmitter which we're not going to demonstrate today. So the lower range value being the zero and the upper range value would then be the 100 kPa that you would apply to the transmitter and adjust it accordingly. The next parameter is the info on the transmitter which confirms that this is an EJA 530 transmitter, ART5 protocol, device revision 1, software revision 3.01. Activating the key again would then bring the transmitter back to normal functionality. That's how simple it is to act, activate and interrogate a transmitter using local parameter setting functionality. We'll now move on to making an, a change on the transmitter and demonstrate how simple that is. So simply activate LPS, tag would confirm that we're into local parameter setting functionality. The first parameter being the tag on the transmitter. Unit that's being displayed is KPA and that's the parameter we want to change to, to bar. So I'll go to the range setting switch, zero adjustment switch, turn the screw, by rotating the screw it moves from KPA to MPA to millibar to bar. And that's where we want to be. So we'll leave it at bar. To confirm the adjustment that we've made, we action the range setting switch again. This will then request a further action to save the parameter. If we key the button once again, it'll confirm that it's been saved. By activating the key again, we'll scroll through the remaining parameters until we get back to normal operation. That is as simple as it is to utilize the local parameterization setting. Trust that that makes your life easier in your plant and hope that you enjoy using Yokogawa products further in, in, the, in the future. Have a great day.